hey everybody welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video welcome back to another <laughs> candid with cat video this time around gents me i don't want to lie eh? before we get started wait 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 actually before i say that before we get started please subscribe follow and like the channel and like the video the more likes i get in the video the more the my video gets recommended so I know that you guys are going to watch this and I know that a couple of thousand of you are going to watch it. If you could kindly like the video, I would really, really appreciate it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Also click the notification bell so that you know each and every single time I upload. How about that? Catch me outside. What do you, do? What do you even mean? Okay. I'm on my second glass of this one. It's a glass of gin because... <laughs> Hey, I know that when I started Candid with Cat, I was doing it with the Corona beer, okay? And then I did it with the wine, okay? But beer and wine just doesn't sit well with my system. Really just doesn't sit well. And uh, getting all the way litty litty is... Mm, I mean, it's fun, but... Mm, <laughs> um, so, weight-wise... It doesn't it doesn't do the best for my body so I'm gonna switch to having gin with my candid with cats and what I do now is I have a glass of before I start recording so that I'm nice and I'm mellow when I'm I'm ready to give I'm ready to give so welcome to the channel it's another candid with cat let's get into it this time around we're going to be talking about friends because if there's one thing friends Na 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 me na 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 not real friends so we're gonna get into it as you know every single time i am about to do a candid with cat i will put it up on my instagram so always follow instagram watch the stories please follow instagram please follow me on tiktok twitter i'm there i'm everywhere and a lot of the time i will put up a question box with the topic and ask you guys to give me your stories that's normally how these videos happen if you watch this channel you will know this okay so this time around i was thinking about shady friends shady friends you know those ones that are just like oh my god girl i love you in that dress and then she turns around and she's like wow those kinds of people you know, the, the, the people that you're sitting there thinking, oh, this is my friend. And then they do something that shows you that this is not my friend. <laughs> no, hell no. So, so for me, I've been really fortunate. I haven't had shady, shady friends. But there was one incident when I was maybe 19, 20 that had me go, whoop. So that one's a bit of a story time, okay? So I'll do that one halfway through the video and then continue with the other points. So... Let me get my phone and let's get into your shadiest, shadiest friend situations. Friend, friend situation. Shadiest thing a friend has ever done to you. So this girl says she hung out with my in-laws. <sighs> what is it about your in-laws that would make your friend want to go and hang out with your in-laws? What is it about your friend that is shady as hell? Why would you want to hang out with your friend's in-laws? Like, 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 ex-in-laws? Mm -hmm. Ex-in-laws. Why would you want to do that? Unless you're trying to go there because what about your friend? That's the, that's the only thing. If you're wanting to go there and hanging out with your friend's ex-in-laws, this is a wish wash. This is a vi vi. Why? And what is it that you are saying to your friend's ex-in-laws about your friend? Because there's nothing that connects you with your friends and uh, your friend's ex-in-laws. There's nothing. So what is it about you, you wanting to hang out with your, ex, your friend's ex-in-laws? What is it? What are you saying? You can't even trust that kind of person because why, number one, are they hanging out with their ex-in-laws and what could they potentially be saying? Because the one thing I'm going to tell you is that they've been talking. 
if she hung out with the ex-in-laws, they were talking about you at some point because that is the only con common, common, that is the only common denominator, you, that connects them to the friend. You are that common denominator. So what is it about you that was being discussed? I hope you threw that whole entire friend away. Because that's... But what I'll say, ba, you must be very afraid. This lady says she slept with my bite. Now, I got very confused with bite because you young people, okay? You young people have all these names for... The other day I was really confused with what... What was that word? Minga? Whatever that word was. I was really confused. I was just like, King you. What, what is that thing? So she slept with my bite. I didn't think it was deep because we weren't dating, but also why? It, 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 exactly. It is deep because that person is your bite. I'm assuming that bite in this instance means somebody you liked or somebody you wanted to be with because you say that they were not, you were not dating that person, but your friend, your friend went ahead and decided to slip with the bite. Is the disrespect for me. What do you even mean, bro? It's the disrespect for me. That friend of yours know very well that you liked this person. And they've decided, wait, let me like them more. In fact, let me test out the waters. Let me slip with him first so that I can come back to you when I'm my friend and tell you Raya again. It's the disrespect. It's the BS. It's the goal. It's the gumption. What do you even mean, bro? So you want to test out waters that, that I want? So that you can come, come, come back to me and still say that we're friends and and I'm gonna shem viala yeah get out of here get out of here molile shit hey molile sis hey 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 what's wrong with our family man she DM'd my boyfriend and asked for my number after that she ghosted me for three years. Now she's back saying she's sorry. She DM'd my boyfriend and asked for my number. After that, she goes to me. She was not asking for your number. Mm -mm. She DM'd your boyfriend because she wanted to smash him. She wanted to do something with him. She DM'd your boyfriend at the current time and asked for your number. It's the lies for me. It's the gumption for me. What do you even mean, bro? She wasn't asking for, no, she wanted directions to his dick. That's what she wanted. She saw your boyfriend as a snack and she was like, ha, ah, no, me, I need to, I need to enter Risha here. But let me enter Risha sexy and be like, yo, can you give me so-and-so's number, please? Otherwise, how are you? How's, how's the day? How's the, hey, this weather is wild, ne? Hey, she lie, lies. Then she comes, she goes to you for three years. You know why she ghosted you for the three years? It's because she knows what she was doing. She knows what she was doing. She tried. I don't know what ended up happening between you and your boyfriend at that time. Okay? I don't know what ended up happening between you and your boyfriend. Did you continue being boyfriend and girlfriend, living happily ever after? Did you break up once you found out that she DM'd your boyfriend? What happened? I don't know what the, what the situation there is. But let me tell you, she goes to you for three years, she did something. Maybe she sent your boyfriend nudes and you don't know because men, men, Sims Wright says that if there is one thing you should fear in life, it's a doda. Why? Men. Yeah. Fear those things. Those things, eh, eh, you, can be, you can be in a happy relationship. You can be so happy with your mans, but fear him because those things change like the weather. If there's one thing, you should always be offended if somebody says, hey, when a personality, how it's like the weather. Men are like the weather. They change. Overnight. <laughs> she slept with my boyfriend and I caught them red-handed. Did you, did, what, wait a minute. oil. Did you splash them with hot oil or hot water when you saw that? Because that is not a friend. That is not, and the pain that comes with catching your person in bed with your friend. See, people need therapy for things like that. Do you know that? People need therapy. That time she's laughing with you, your friend, hey, before you caught them red-handed. She's laughing with you. Meanwhile, she knows that she's in his DMs like this. 
like this because in a time like that i blame men for everything but in a time like that in a situation like that i blame them both if not more the friend i blame the friend even more because what is she doing what are you doing dming my mans and how did she get into bed with the devil how did she get into the bed with the devil because men are the devils how did she get into bed with him if she did she got her number let me tell you and this is gonna hurt and i'm sorry that this is gonna hurt she got a number they said they discussed what they they went out to lunch yeah he touched the hair touched it then the next thing you catch them right red-handed was it in your house that you shared with your boyfriend Ooh. What do we call, which one is that one? Which one is that one? What, what do we call it? Catching somebody red-handed. People need therapy for things like this. That one wasn't your friend. She was there to chow. She wasn't your friend. I'm sorry. And these, these situations have me asking myself, for did you know the friend before your man? Or did you get to meet her after you were with your mans? And then she tried, she saw him and she tried to laugh. I, I like really want to know the deeper story behind these situations because wow cc you need to have your friend your your friend reader on as much as women and as much as men she slept with a guy i was vibing with you know this these ones frighten me she slept with a guy i was vibing with next to me after a late night at Kuvaibo, Luana, when you're sleeping at that, you can't feel the. You can't feel. Kurwa loka loki 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 loki. No matter how lady you are, okay, Mar, that happens, yo. Like, that's not even a lie. When you lit, 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 yeah, I wa loka shem. You couldn't feel it? She slept with the guy you were vibing with? How did this guy land up in the same bed with you and your friend? Why would you allow such a thing? Why would you allow somebody to sleep on the floor? How about that? Somebody sleep on a couch. How about that? Catch me outside. Somebody Somebody must sleep on the couch. Somebody must sleep on, on the floor. The boy, preferably. Hey, Mark, that one. Even if he was on the floor. In situations like that, that's care locker. Put the key in the in the in the nunozas in your underwear. Because where there's men and women, I'm telling you, man, I would never even allow it's just it's wrong. I would never even allow Balesa in the same room as my partner where we are sharing a bed. Why? He wouldn't even allow that shit. Let me case in point example. He always says to me, I said to him at some point, I'm like, no. Uh, let me give you my friend's number just in case you can't get hold of me. And he said, no, I don't know why. I don't need your friend's number. Give me your sister's number, sure. But I don't need why. Why should your friend have access to my number and vice versa? Why? No. If I need you, I will call you by your sister. I will call your sister. Or I will, uh, uh, I will know where you are, right? Because we, I send locations and whatever if I'm out and about with friends. So I will know where you are. That's enough. I don't need your friend's number. No. That's one thing you must understand. Your friends do not need your partner's number and vice versa. They don't. Don't do that thing. Oh, hi, no, just in case you can't get a hold of me. Uh, but look, if you end up calling your partner with, with your friend's phone, sharp, grand, no problem. Because you're lady and you're like, baby, I need you to pick me up or something. That's fine. But your partner does not need to have. I cut myself. Your partner does not need to have your friend's number. Nope. Catch me outside. How about that? A friend slept next to my ex-boyfriend and started caressing him. She played dead upon confrontation. I hope you threw them both away. How about that? How about that? Whether you... Listen. Did you say ex-boyfriend? Yeah, that's fine. Because it, it shows that you've thrown him away. Wonderful. I hope you threw them both away after that one incident. Because there's two sides to a story. You can't now just believe your boyfriend that ah, she started unless you saw it happen. If you saw it happen and you saw how he reacted and you saw how she reacted, that's a different story. But if now 
you are hearing from your boyfriend. Hore, your friend, she started caressing me in the middle of the night. How much of that story do you know is true? Sweetie, get it together. How much of that story do you know is true and how much of it is a lie? Because fear them. That's all I'm saying. And that person wasn't your friend because wow. How do you go around crazy? Did she actually admit to the fact that, okay, I did it. I'm sorry. Hey, hey, hey. Take your sorry and throw it somewhere. Throw it in the mines. Throw it in the mines. Because <laughs> you can miss me with that. Listen, your men and your friends are not friends. And they should never be friends. More than anything, you should be very comfortable with keeping those two parts of your life very separate. There's no need to party with your, 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 your man and his friends and your friends and whatever. Why? 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 Now we're all friends. Why? There's no need. And you will realize this the older you get. When we're younger, yes, we all want to go out. We all want to have fun. We all want to vibe out. You should not. You will never. Let me tell you something about men. After fearing them, Men will always cover their asses. They will always cover their asses and they will always have their friends help them cover their asses. So be very, very careful. Whether you think, or hi, I know him. Why do I keep hearing things? Whether you think, or hi, I know him, he's my man, whatever, whatever. Men will always cover their asses, baby girl. All the time. All the time. Whether with your friend, without your friend, without, hey, you heard this about him, what, 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 hey, hey. <laughs> she played dead upon confrontation. <laughs> it's the gumption for me. <laughs> My best friend was a bridesmaid for another friend's wedding. And I wasn't told about this wedding. Actually, it was Labola until the day of. When I asked my best friend, she told me she was instructed not to tell anyone, including myself. I cut them both off without any confrontation. I am hurt. I was hurt still, but I am healing. Yeah, that's messed up. First and foremost, why did she continue wanting to be a bridesmaid at this wedding, knowing, knowing or she's been told not to tell anyone, including you, her best friend. <clears throat> That's a bit wild. That's a bit wild because what I can tell is that the bride is a mutual friend to you and your best friend. Okay? She's a mutual friend. So your best friend went and became a bridesmaid to another friend's wedding. And was told her do not tell anyone, including her bestie. And she continued being, man, psh. if, if, listen here, it's very, very hurtful. How do you do that? She was instructed not to, so she continued. I would have told my friend either way. And then asked my friend, my best friend, that do you want, how do you feel about this? Do you want me to do whatever? Because I value our friendship more than I value being of bridesmaids at this wedding. Bridesmaids. Wow. I value our friendship more than I value being a bridesmaid at this wedding. That's, 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 that's it. So if you feel some type of way, I'm not going to be a bridesmaid. Because you are my best friend. So if you feel some type of way, I ain't doing it. I ain't doing Catch me outside. Okay, this one says, she told my man that I was cheating on him because she wanted him for herself. Yes. Where do you get a friend who's got the gall, the gumption to call your man up or tell him whenever she sees him that, you know what, truth be told, she's cheating on you. My friend could be cheating on her man with five other gents. I ain't telling her man shit. That's her life. She's my friend. If he's a great guy and he treats her well, I'm going to come for my friend. Why are you doing this to this guy, bro? Just leave him, bro. If you're gonna do this, just leave him. And if she doesn't wanna leave him, Kato, you ain't gonna tell me shit, blah, 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 blah. Okay, it's fine. But I'm not gonna go there to him and be like, yo, truth be told, my friend is, hey man, she playing you, bro. Like, I won't even lie. She's playing you, she's been playing. I am not gonna tell a whole entire man that I must fear who's probably doing his own thing on the side that we don't know anything about, about the fact that my friend is cheating. What? That girl isn't your friend. Got my lip, lip thing. Ugh. 
so far. I must sit there and, uh, man, I would rather be that friend who's listening to my friend telling me about her little escapades with her, her, her side pieces. I'd be like, okay. If you know that ah, her man ain't shit, ah, they both cheat on each other, ah, okay. Let's laugh about it. What you do with the side piece, girl? <laughs> but me go tell my friends, man, and lie and say that she's genius just so that I can have him for myself, chub. In front of my crush that she knows about, she would treat me like a scumbag and make me seem like trash. I hope you got rid of her. Why? Because in front of my crush, I would expect my friend to hype me the F up. What do you mean? I would expect my friends to be like, yo, what are this one? Ah, sham. Like wife material, this one. This one. Ah, Keto's wife material, sham. In front of my crush, I would expect my friend to do the absolute most. Tell him how amazing I am. Tell him that I'm surprised nobody scooped her up at this point. She, I'm expecting my friend to hype me up. Instead, my friend treats me like rubbish. In front of my crush, it's the, it's the gumption. Why are these people even associating with your crushes or boyfriends? Guys, stop eating. Those are two very separate parts of your life. They should not be. It's one thing to hang out every now and again, you know, and everybody, whatever, you know, he comes and you're chilling with him, he comes with his friends. It's one thing. Even that one, I'm feeling some type of way about it, but it's one thing. It happens every blue moon. It's fine. But it should never be a regular thing. Do you understand what I'm saying? It should never be a regular thing where your crush or somebody that you like is in the same vicinity as your friend and we're all chilling and drinking together unless it's my birthday party, unless my best friend arranged a surprise party and then she told Naledi to then tell my partner and then zah, 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 we're all in the same space. Sure, fine, not a problem. But that doesn't happen often. Why lelo, nale bloma yo? You know, even when your ear and your ring and your this these earrings start getting itchy, you must know. Or I can't believe it. I can't. She started talking to the guy I was talking to at the time. I didn't go down without a fight, and I then played him. She started talking to the guy that you were talking to at the time. You didn't go down without a fight, and then you played him. So basically, she started talking to a guy that you were talking to at the time. You realized this. You didn't like it. So you were like, oh, okay, really? I'm going to get him. So you got him, and then you played him. Why? You could have easily just said, ah. Okay, she's talking to that guy. You don't know how that guy's reacting to what she's saying to him and all of that. And you still want to go there. Why are you going there? Why are you even going there? So you you told yourself for wait again. Let the best man win. Really? Who won? So you got him and then you played him? Who won, really? So it was a vengeance thing? When your friend was talking to this guy who probably might have been entertaining it and then you found out and then you decided to go into competition with your friend to see who's going to win the guy. I mean, baby girl, no. Men are never worth that much work. <laughs> They're not. <laughs> you know the men, come on over. You must be up here. Yeah. That one, unattainable. Started talking to a friend and then she she gapped. She literally let go of both me and the friend. Ah, that one doesn't play. You must be that kind of you must be that kind of bitch. Feel me? Now I'm gonna share my story, which happened. I think I was 19, 20, maybe around that time. Um <laughs> so it was a shady moment and I found it really, really weird, wild. Um so I had a friend, uh, we're no longer friends anymore, but I had a friend and I went to a party that she had invited me to. So she said, no, one of my other friends is having a party, come through, whatever. And I said, sure, baby, let's go. So I went to the party 
got to the party and of course there's guys there's girls it's a good time and then this group of guys arrive right and let me tell you all the guys were cute <laughs> there's probably like five of them all of them were cute but there's this one that i had fixated my eye on and i was like yeah that boy is cute so she knew that squad of guys she knew who they were uh she was not friends with them but she knew them because they grew up in the same sort of gassy kind of situation right so fine not a problem uh i then tell her because she's like no this is so 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 she's like pointing at them telling me their names so i'm like okay you know him okay you know them okay fine who which one is which one is that one that's the one i want to pick for myself i want to pick it i want to pick that flower you know so then she tells me that uh no that's so and so that's james let's call him james right so she says, that's James. I'm like, ooh, James is cute, whatever. Cantabella, you know, me being me, James is also checking me out. The... And uh, the night progresses, and we basically spend the night, not the night together, like spend the night together. I was still staying at home, okay? No, we basically spend the rest of the party that evening talking, vibing, having a fantastic time. Great. Swap numbers. Fantastic. Following day, James calls. I had a great time. You are amazing. Blah, blah, blah. I really want us to, you know, get to spend more time together. I would like, I'd like to make you my girlfriend at some point. I'm like, oh my God, 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 oh my it's not that deep. So I, so I start spending time with James and I start telling my friends about it, including the friend who introduced me to James and all of that. The one who told me, who knows them, right? And then she says to me, um, eventually she calls a meeting. We were all like in mix it we had mix it we had a group and there were like four of us in the group and she says, um, guys, we need a round table meeting. We'd always say that I need, we need a round table meeting. I need us to talk about, um, I need to share something, especially with Katleo, but I want us all to be there. So we all go to her house. We get to her house and she says, well, I just wanted to tell you that Katleo specifically, I wanted to tell you that, um, me and your new crush, potential man, whatever, me and him once had a thing. Um, he likes me and I didn't really like him like that, but we kind of had a thing and whatever. And you can imagine, I am crushed. I am crushed because I'm that friend who's not going to mess around with somebody my friend messed around with. I'm not going to do that. Never done it before. Not going to start today. Right. And now I am crushed. And then one of my other friends who was present at the meeting there says, talk to him about it. Before you make a decision, before you do whatever, talk to him and actually ask him if it's true. So that evening I call um, him and I say, well, so-and-so, this girl told me that you and her had a thing. Why didn't you tell me? I start losing my shit. And he says, what? Okay. He drives to my house. He gets to my house. I am mad, man. I am mad. I'm just like, I don't want to talk about it. I can't believe you play me like this. I can't believe you did this, this, this. This is my friend. I'm, I can't do anything with you if you did something with my friend. And he says, I did nothing with your friend. And I'm like, yeah, sure. You're going to say that because you is a man. And, and expect me to believe it. And he says, okay, okay, I'll prove it to you. I did nothing with your friend. Your friend and I only spent, um, have only been in the same vicinity twice. And it was at a party and I was never close to her, never kissed her, never did this, never did this, never. I don't even have her number. So if you are telling me that we did, so, okay, that's cool. The one person who would know this is my best friend because he was there, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yeah, whatever, bro, whatever, bro. So then he calls me that weekend and he says to me, uh, my best friend is having something next weekend. I would like you to come and bring your friend the one who's talking shit about me, who's saying that whatever, whatever, so that we can't be together, bring her, bring her. This is James calling me and saying this, right? Bring your friend so that we can hash it out. So I take my friend knowing. So I take 
the, the, her and another one of my friends. So there's three of us. Knowing what's coming there because I needed answers myself, right? So when we get there, fine, hi, hey, here we get there. Um, so when we get there, it's nice, it's fun, it's whatever, you know, we're hanging out. And then eventually James says to me, could you come with your friend? My best friend is in that room right there. I want us to all hash this out and talk about it. We all get in the room. We sit there and get room, like get room, yell cashing, get room. We get in the room. As soon as we walk inside, James locks the door and takes the key. And he says to my friend, uh, let's call my friend Sintaulil, right? He says to my friend, Sinta, please tell me what you told Katleo about what happened with me and you. Tell me. And she's like, no, eh. she's like, tell me. Ain't you said it to her, the girl that I want to be with, the girl that you're trying to ruin what I'm building with this person. Now tell me, you're with me, tell me. What is it that I ever did? What did I exchange? Did we kiss? Did we sleep together? What did we do? Now she's like, uh, uh, oh, so I'm being ambushed. And he's like, ah, you're not being ambushed. You're not being ambushed. Tell me what you are claiming to get oh, I did or we did or what thing we had tell me when it happened because they I've never been interested in you like that now the best friend James's best friend he's in the room and he's like yeah but Sintale, tell the truth bro we've only seen you twice at a party in fact why don't you tell Katleo that you're the one who wanted him because you remember at this party you are such and such a friend to come speak to him and they tried and it never worked out. That was my moment of... For real. That was my moment of, uh, I can't believe she did this. Cause she couldn't even answer to it. He asked her, what is it that we did? Because now you're trying to ruin what I'm trying to build with Katleo because of what? I've never liked you like that. I've never been in a room with you, locked in a room with you. I've never, I've never held your hand. I've never done anything. And here you are telling Katla, the girl that I want to be with, that so-and-so. And then she got mad. You know what? Actually, please open the door. I'm not going to get into this. Whatever, whatever. I want to go home. Katla, are you going to take me home? Or should I figure out a way to get? And I'm like, okay, okay. And we took her home. And the other friend who was there with me, who's still my friend till today, said, you see? That's why I said, speak to him first. And it's great now because there was a confrontation and now you can see what's going on. She couldn't even answer to it. Following day, she calls another meeting. Uh, no, she doesn't call another meeting. She sends me a message. She sends me the message and she says to me, I hate you so much. I resent you, this and this and this. You're a horrible person, blah, blah. And I'm like, for wanting to find out the truth? And that's when our friendship ended. And I continued in the relationship, which we were together for like two and a half years. I continued and we were great. All because she lied. Why? Because maybe she wanted him at the time or whatever and she couldn't stand the fact that I'm going to be with him and whatever. I don't know. But my friend did some shady ass shit to me that day. And I was just like, oh, it, it's you. It, it's you. Continue. Both her and my then boyfriend were texting till damn as four in the morning. Throw them. I, I'm pretty sure you've thrown them both away because I know you personally. I'm pretty sure you've thrown them both away. But text her in until four saying, what are they talking about? Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> what are they talking about? Are they sharing scores? Are they on bed away? Are they talking about friends, family? What are they talking about? What is this lie? No, I hope he threw them both away because it's a mess. She became best friends with my boyfriend, sis. But no one thing, eh? That, 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 with my, she became best friends with my boyfriend. I hope she's no longer your friend and I hope he's no longer your boyfriend because one thing you can know is that they were discussing you. How does she become best friends with your boyfriend? If it's your ex or whatever, but still even that is wrong. How? 
they were discussing you. You were a topic of conversation. You were probably a topic of conversation during sex. During sex. In the bed, you were pillow talk. Woo! Baby, throw them all away. Yo, I, you guys and your friends. Uh, my best friend telling me that she's dating my boyfriend after he said to her that we were no longer together. Then she wasn't your best friend. Vile. Yo, Lashandin towards a man. Why? How does your best friend date your ex boyfriend? How? 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 What is it in her that makes her feel or ah, Katla is gonna be okay? Like Balesa dating my ex boyfriend. Ah, Katla will be fine with it. It's fine. That person is not your friend. Your friend is never gonna do such a thing to you. Never. Sis Ebanguli. Yes, yes, we can even say Uti Ama girls Banguli. Nez girls. Is it girls? Ay, 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 ay. My friend dating my baby daddy. Cut. How do yo? I, nah. <laughs> I nah don't get it, guys, eh? How do your supposed friends date your exes or your boyfriends or whatever? How? You have to ask yourself, what is it about this person that I didn't pick up? When I was like happy, in love with my mans and everything. What didn't I pick up about my friend? What did I not see? What, what was going on that I didn't see? I, because I, these stories are wild, bro. You are, these stories are so wild. She used my dildo. Wow. She used my dildo and never cleaned it after. She shouldn't even be using your dildo. Shop. When I wanted to use it, it was dirty. Oh, girl. I threw it away. Uh, we were sharing a two-bedroom, one-bed, two-bed, um, one-flat with one bed. Went out one night. I was casually seeing. Yo, this is, okay, this is a lot. My one friend and I decided to sleep on the floor in the other room and let the guy sleep on the bed. But that one decided to go sleep with him on the bed. Of they did something, never spoke to the guy again, and she left eventually. Vile. So not only does she use your dildo. Yo, I just, that girl didn't rate you, hey? <laughs> Yay! in her life you that girl didn't see your peppos in her life you were just you you were literally you just happened to be in the way but she really didn't care for you much she really didn't went out one night with a guy i was casually seeing my one friend decided to sleep on the floor in the other room and let the guy sleep on the bed. But that one decided to go sleep with him on the bed. And obviously they did something. They never spoke to the guy again. Never spoke to the guy again. She left eventually. That girl didn't rate you. I'm not even going to sit here and lie to you. I'm not even going to sit here and lie to you. That girl, how bona, in our language, how bona her usquailo sapite fi. They didn't rate you at all. Didn't give a damn. That's not somebody you want to even call a friend. This is wild. This is the wildest story that I've read. She texted my boyfriend that she better... She... What? She texted my boyfriend that she's a better match for him and that he should break up with me. Why did she even have the boyfriend's number? I just... I'm going to break a nail at this point. Is that not what I said? Why did she, t why does she even have the number? Why? Why does your friend have your boyfriend's number? Why? Hi, man, guys, no, man. La you can be how in love and how happy with your friend where you want to share your friend's, your boyfriend's number with your friend. Don't do it. Don't do it. And vice versa. Because as much as Banyana Basile, Nama Tota, fear them. Why do they even have you? Uh, you are. Uh, we went out, had a, an amazing time, and talked our issues out that night. Driving back home in a convoy, boom, she crashes into me. During fixing 
during fixing my car, a lot was said and it was a mess. It was a good friendship gone bad. We literally broke up. She crashed into you. That's what happens when ish, you mix personal relationships or interpersonal relationships with friends, family, whatever, with money. That's what happens. And unfortunately, the situation there it was that she crashed into you. And the way it works with, with, with the law, whoever crashes into you must foot the bill. Their insurance must figure it out or whatever, whatever. I crashed into somebody. I wasn't litty or anything. I was just... And I crashed into somebody uh, years ago and whatever. And I had to do it. I had to figure it out. That's what the law says. So she crashed into you. Clearly, probably things involving money came up and you guys had a fight and whatever. And that one is an unfortunate one because it doesn't necessarily make her a bad friend. Money got in the way. And your friendship, money got in the way, all that car situation got in the way, and your friendship strained from it, and unfortunately it didn't work out. And I'm really sad because that's a, that could have been solved. That's a situation that could have been solved. It didn't have to do with a man or her lying on you or bad-mouthing you or smearing your name. You just got into a conflict and you couldn't come out of it, and that's really, really unfortunate. Wow. Okay. I think that's where I'm going to end it. I hope you guys enjoyed this version of Candid with Cat. And if you did, please comment, like, subscribe. The more likes that I get, can we get to over a thousand likes? This is not unrealistic because I get relatively six, seven hundred likes in certain videos. So can we get to over a thousand likes? That would do so much for me. I would appreciate you guys so much. And uh, that's pretty much it from me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe, like, repost, reshare, retweet, TikTok me, all the things. Follow me everywhere and I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next Candid with Cat. I'll see you soon.